In the FM News at 10, I'm Jenny Ha. In international news, more than 100 people are feared dead after a military transport plane crashed in a residential area of the Indonesian city of Medan. The Hercules C-130 plane hit two houses and a hotel before bursting into flames, creating a huge fireball. Air Force head Agus Supriyatna visited the crash site and said that there were no survivors among the 113 people on board. Around 50 bodies have been taken to hospital, others are being recovered. A major rescue operation is underway at the site, which was covered in flames and thick black smoke. Reports say that only the tail of the aircraft is still recognizable. The rest has been reduced to debris. Coming up is local news from Busan EFM with me. The patient that was the 180th confirmed case of MERS in Korea has recovered from the disease, testing negative for the virus in four recent tests. This patient, who had been hospitalized in the same room at the Good Kangan Hospital with the 143rd confirmed case of MERS, tested positive for the virus on June 25th. An official from the Busan MERS Task Force was able to confirm that the most recent test was negative and also stated that the patient will be able to be released after finishing antiviral medication and passing two more tests. Financial institutions in Korea are on high alert today after a hacker who had launched cyber attacks on three banks in the country on June 26 dropped hints about another attack being launched soon. According to financial news sources, a European hacking group attempted to blackmail the banks, sending each one a letter demanding money after the first attack. The group said it would conduct a second attack today if its demands were not met by this morning. One of the original three banks attacked, Tegu Bank, suffered losses in processing speed for one of its servers, delaying online transactions for nearly 15 minutes. The other two banks were unaffected by the attack. Busan and Gyeongnam have developed a plan for saving 160 billion won in costs for the Koga Bridge from now to 2050. Both Busan and Gyeongnam have issued 300 billion won in asset-backed securities at a 3.7% interest, interest rate and have also lowered the local interest rate from 4.7% to 4.5%. According to financial data, the actions will save both local governments a total of 80 billion won each over the next 36 years. An official of the Busan Cinema Center said that its schedule for indoor and outdoor films, as well as matinee concerts, will resume starting July 1st, after briefly being interrupted due to the MERS epidemic. Five outdoor films will be shown during the Busan Cinema Center's summer film season. The Turedum Saturday outdoor concert and the morning matinee concerts, set to resume next month, are free to the public. New container handling charges will go into effect in July at the Busan port. An official from the Busan Regional Oceans and Fisheries Administration said that the newly approved schedule of fees will begin tomorrow at four docks at the north port and two docks at the new port. The Busan Regional Oceans and Fisheries Administration has increased the rate by 6.9% compared with last year's rate. Gwangali, Tadepo, Ilgwang, and Imlang beaches in Busan will all open tomorrow for the summer season. As of tomorrow, all seven beaches in Busan, including Heonde, Songdo, and Songjung beaches, which open on June 1st, will be available for beachgoers. Gwangali and Tadepo beaches will host opening ceremonies tomorrow at 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. respectively. Gwangali Beach will remain open until September 10th, and Tadepo Beach will be open to the public until August 31st. The organizing committee of the Busan International Kids Film Festival announced that it has selected The Story of My Father's Bike and Me, directed by Iran's Fayaz Musavi, as the opening film for this year's festival. The film will be shown at the opening ceremony on July 30th, and Musavi will be on hand to meet festival attendees. The organizing committee has also selected The Greatest House in the World, jointly directed by Anna Borokes and Lucia Carreras, as the festival's closing film. This year's festival will be held from July 30th to August 4th at the Pusan Cinema Center. 
And now taking a look at the weather, it's currently raining in Busan and most parts of the Gyeongnam areas. Thunderstorms will be present along some areas of the southern coast between this afternoon and evening, so please take precaution if you are outside during those times and make sure to pack your umbrellas. Waves will rise from 0.5 to 2.0 meters in the seas. The high in Busan will be 24 degrees, lower than yesterday. It is currently 23 degrees here in Busan. That wraps up this hour's news, and thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.